Hello, my friend. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We're here at Trader Joe's. Let's check out their new fall items. I've seen so many pumpkins and so many things in this place. So let's go shop with me at Trader Joe's. What's new fall season at Trader Joe's this time? Look at those pumpkins. They're the ugly looking ones that like like super Halloween-y. It is $7.99. But those are like really good looking pumpkins. Actually like super like funky Halloween-y uh, autumn mix, $7.99 pumpkin. <gasps> Look at those, so cute. Like I like the fact that they have different colors. This one is so cute. It's not like everything the same. Like you have this ugly looking things. It's just so funky. Like I think these are perfect for Halloween decorations. There are more colors right here. Those small pumpkins are only 79 each. And those are perfect decorative items. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, this one is perfect. It's only 79 cents. That's really good. Like so much cheaper than Hobby Lobby because Hobby Lobby is like $5. Granted that this one is only for one season. But if you don't want to commit to the big ones, those are actually really, really good. Really, really nice full decor item for sure. Only 79 cents. Worth it. Here this flyer. Let's see what's in fall 2020. Hey, the pumpkin vegan cashew yogurt is back. I think some of you commented you really liked it from last year. It actually tastes pretty good. It's 179. It's back. It's the cashew yogurt, but of course they have the regular pumpkin yogurt, which is cheaper. This one is only 99 cents, but versus this one is like twice as much because it's vegan yogurt. Vegan is always expensive. Pumpkin cream cheese, $2.99. Found, Found it. You guys recommended this one. I heard great things about it and we were looking for it and finally we found it. $2.29. Pumpkin cream cheese, they put it all the way up there. I heard like people who don't like cream cheese still like this one. So we're gonna give it a try. Super excited. I love cream cheese actually, so I hope I like this one a lot. The honey crisp apple scented candle. I bought it last year, $3.99. It smells so good. It's like super sweet. It's like super, super sweet. It smells like apple. Yeah, it, it smells just like real apple. It's like so good. Let's get one of those. $3.99 is pretty good price. They also have a <gasps> vanilla pumpkin scent. I've actually never smelled this. Let's try this. This one is like, very cinnamony vanilla with nutmeg it has more vanilla scent with like a little spice i, pr I personally prefer the crispy apple what do you think nope. I don't like that one. yeah brandon brandon doesn't like this one but this one it's more vanilla-y maybe you will like it but i just really like the honey crisp apple this one is so good like highly recommend this one i actually really like it Brandon doesn't like it, but I actually like this a lot. This is the pumpkin bisque, $3.99. Butternut squash bisque. Pumpkin flavor butternut squash bisque. A delicate puree finished. I'm pretty sure I've tried this item once last year and I remember it tasted really, really sweet because pumpkins is sweet and butternut squash is sweet and it has a little bit of added sugar. The only questionable ingredient is canola oil, but other than that, it's not too bad. It's just good for once in a while, once per season. It definitely brings fall into your house for dinner. It's not too bad. And I love butternut squash and it's gonna be pumpkin flavored. <gasps> $3.99. It is a little bit pricey for a small cup of soup, but Tastes good. I'm gonna get this one. The Harvest Chili, $4.99 is $5, a little bit expensive, but it has black beans, butternut squash, cauliflower, sweet potatoes, and pumpkin puree. And I believe this one, I think it's like vegan. It just tastes so good. I love that lentils and quinoa. It has a great texture because I love the beans and the butternut squash. Like it's a great combination. Get this one. $4.99. This is like my favorite, 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 all-time favorite soup, especially in fall season. I do not recommend the pumpkin ravioli because it's too sweet for me. It's honey roasted. It's like extremely sweet. Even though I like pumpkin, this is too sweet for me. But the butternut squash ravioli is actually really good tasting. It's side by side. Get this one. I love the butternut squash way more than pumpkin ravioli. Roasted turkey 
a sweet potato burrito for $4.49. This is a fall item. I like turkey. Let's take a look. It does contain a lot of carbs, but let's take a look. Canola oil, which is not the best. A lot of canola oil, but I would say this is probably gonna taste good just because I love that combination of turkey and sweet potatoes. It's a new item, $4.49 for lunch. Pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. Oh my gosh, it's so tempting. It has like chocolate chip chunks and it's oatmeal cookies. It's not too bad. Only nine grams of added sugar. As a cookie item, it's actually somewhat okay. I've heard great things about this harvest tea. It's $2.49 and it's caffeine. -free. So this one has cinnamon, ginger, hibiscus, orange peel, apple flavor. It's like a nice spicy herbal tea for the night. Um, drink before going to bed to warm up your body as it starts to chill up in the weather. Pumpkin bread and muffin mix, $2.99. Let's take a look. Hey, it's not too bad. It only ha it has some soybean oil, which is the problem, but it doesn't have that much oil in this thing by itself. If you like bread, this is actually not bad. You just probably need to add some more on your own. Hey, this is really good, $2.99. You can add more butter or any oil, like coconut oil, if you like. Coconut oil is probably better than butter. But it's not too bad if you like baking, $2.99. Bread or muffin mix. It's a sweet bread, <laughs> definitely. There's so much more. There is pumpkin pancake mix. Gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. Ooh. For my gluten-free friends, I actually know some friends actually eat gluten-free. This is actually really, really good ingredients. Ooh, nice. And then they have the pumpkin bread and muffin mix right here. Gluten-free. My gosh, this is actually not bad. Like maybe we can try this pancake. This one, it has canola oil, but it's expeller pressed, which is less processed. It's a little bit better. Even though I'm not a big fan of canola oil, I do like the expeller pressed because it's less processing. So I'm not too crazy about it. So, love this, $3.99. I would say get the gluten-free one. Definitely the non-gluten-free ones. I feel like it's not as good as the gluten-free ones. I will get the gluten-free ones instead for the pancake. It's just like a, not a lot of difference in price either. So, get the gluten-free ones. $8.99. <gasps> oh, full harvest salsa, $3.49 is back. This one, let's take a look, has tomatoes, water. Ooh, apple, squash, butternut squash. I love butternut squash. Let's get this one. $3.49 and the ingredients is really, really good. Only one gram of added sugar. This one seems pretty healthy. Let's get one of those. Always love the butternut squash. Let's get this one. Oh my gosh, they also have pumpkin tortilla chips, $2.29. Pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon and nutmeg. Let's see. Vegetable oil, corn oil probably not the healthiest but it's pretty clean it doesn't have any like weird additives it uses pumpkin puree to season it so it's not too bad other than oil it's not too bad you know it's only 229 you can probably eat this with the salsa it's probably a very good combo if you're into tortilla chips it's not the best ingredients but it's still better than a lot of the other things in the market that has artificial flavoring it's, at least this is like natural seasoning Pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds, two ninety nine. Wow, hey, it's actually pretty cheap. Let's try this. I actually like pumpkin seeds. I don't know if I'm gonna like the flavoring. Two ninety nine. Pumpkin seeds has a lot of great omega oil. But how much sugar? Eleven grams of added sugar. It's pretty sweet. It's definitely on the sweeter side. But. Brendan said too much sugar, <laughs> but it's not too bad because it's pumpkin seeds. It's all added, like the seed itself doesn't have, but it's pretty good price, only $2.99. If you try to perform, please comment down below. Maybe I'll get it next time. It seems pretty good, really good ingredients, and it has a lot of nutrients as well, other than the added sugar. <laughs> and we're trying to eat less sugar because this guy had some hosti hospital bills <laughs> because of his diet. Pumpkin spice coffee cups, 529. 
And this one's a pretty good. They also have the autumn maple coffee cups. This one I think has like better flavor because it's sweeter. It's like a sweeter aftertaste. It's like five twenty nine. This one is more spicy. I've bought it before in one of the years. This one is like you can taste the cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger. So the pumpkin spice coffee is actually really really spicy because you know it's just coffee. It doesn't have any like cream or sugar or whatever. But this autumn maple coffee cups actually tastes. A little bit on the sweeter side. I actually like this one a little bit better. But if you drink this one, let me know. You just have to put more cream in it because it's definitely spicy. Only two dollars. Pumpkin spice bartons. Eight grams of added sugar. It does contain palm ole. That's the only thing. But other than that, it's not too bad. And I like the fact that Trader Joe's doesn't use artificial coloring. They only use natural coloring. Do we want to try this? It's too loud. Let's try this. <gasps> Let's try this. I know it has a lot of sugar, but it's only pumpkin season for one time. This is interesting. Ninety-nine cents pumpkin spice is special beans. This is one dollar only. It's basically chocolate covered espresso beans with a pumpkin spice blend. Let's take a look. How much? It does. It's a candy it's like so item. Candy. I, can't eat that. I know it's like a lot of candy. No. But I love the espresso. But this is like if you've tried a common almost, it's only one dollar. It's nice. <laughs> Brenda said, "No, we're not eating that much sugar." <laughs> Brenda is trying to eat healthy here. But let me know if you've tried it before. It's only one dollar. This one is four twenty nine. Really? It's four twenty nine. Pumpkin spice. JoJo's pumpkin sandwich cookies in a yogurt flavor coating with sea salt. Four twenty nine is kind of expensive, don't you think? And guess what? Palm oil. There's palm oil in there, which is and canola oil, palm kernel oil. This is not healthy. Eleven grams of added sugar. Yeah, it's not just just sugar. It's also a lot of oil that's bad in there. And we're not even eating vegetable dressings. But what I do recommend. Is this one? This one is expensive, but it tastes really, really good, and it has very clean ingredients, and it only has four grams of added sugar. This one is so good, like highly recommend. If you get some, get something pumpkin. Get this one, four sixty nine. Tastes really good and really good ingredients as well. Get this one. This one, pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzels, two ninety nine. Seems pretty good, but go take a look. Palm kernel oil. Not the best, not the best. So we're gonna put it back. And soybean oil is not the best either, and a lot of sugar. But mainly it's the oil. If you're gonna get sweets, it's okay to eat sugar from time to time, but it's just highly inflammatory. So go with this one. This one highly recommend. Very very clean ingredients. Trader Joe's has this haunted house cookie kit. Eight ninety nine. Those are so cute. Those are just so cute. If you have kids, just like not to eat it, but just to make it, it's probably really, really fun to do like a haunted house cookie kit, like just for the fun of it and not even eating it. <laughs> I think this is a really interesting item. Here's the spooky sour cats and bats, a candy, gummy candies, three forty nine, and this is so much better than gummy bears. So much better. It's natural colors. It's like fruit juice, vegetable juice for the color. And they don't use corn syrup; they use cane sugar and tapioca syrup. So this one, like, if you want to eat candies, get this one. It's so much better than a lot of the gummy bears out there, and it's so much fun. So if you're gonna eat sugar, might as well like leave out all the additives. Caramel apple dipping, six ninety nine, seven dollars, and sprinkles include six sticks, so you can actually use it for six apples. That's pretty fun. Seven dollars for six apples. Guess what? Corn syrup? Nope. Carrageenan? Nope. Yeah, put it back. This one? No good. Has too much like corn syrup. Like I want cane sugar. Cane sugar only. We have those pumpkin rolls for four dollars and forty nine cents. But take a look. It's canola oil, palm oil. Sunflower oil. It's not the best. Like they don't use the best oil is the problem. It has a lot of sugar for sure, but like they don't use the best oil. Why don't they use butter? Like butter would have tasted so much better. And they have carrageenan, which is not the best either. So four forty nine. 
Well, this is not healthy. Okay, well, he still wants to eat it. <laughs> As you can tell, we don't have the same food preference. I try to eat healthy. He doesn't care about the inflammation, inflammatory oils. But that's okay. Maybe when he makes it, I'll try a bite. Yeah. Trader Joe's, this pumpkin walks into a bar, $1.99 cereal bar. I think a lot of you said this one actually tastes really, really good last time. It does contain canola oil, but it's expeller pressed, which makes it a little bit better. The only problem I have is like, look how much added sugar it has. I swear I don't have any like issues with gaining weight or anything, but it's just diabetes is a real thing in my genetics. So I'm just trying to avoid it. But I heard great things that this one actually tastes pretty good. Just in case I had diabetes, I'm gonna just skip this time. Similarly, I heard great things about this pecan pumpkin. I'm pretty sure I've tried it before, but the only thing is like 14 grams of added sugar for breakfast. That's a little bit too much. Again, like I'm not against like eating candies or sugar in general. It's just that diabetes is a real thing in my genetics. And my doctor told me not to eat too much sugar. Pumpkin Madeline cookies, $3.29. Ooh, aren't these the cutest treats? Let's take a look. Just look at this. This has less sugar. This treats, cookies have less sugar than the oatmeal. This is why I I would rather eat treats. It does have canola oil, but other than that, pumpkin inspired, pumpkin spiced. They also have the pumpkin blondie brownies. I've actually tried this before, and truth to be told, it tastes like heaven. It actually tasted really, really good. The brownies are super, super moist, and the pumpkin flavors are to the point. It tasted very good, but guess what? It has Palm kernel oil, palm oil, palm kernel oil, rapeseed oil is basically canola oil, like corn oil. So is it healthy? Nope, but guess what? It has less sugar than the oatmeal. This is why I avoid the oatmeal, but this one actually tastes really good. Not healthy, but tastes amazing. This item is almost sold out. Pumpkin cheesecake croissant ready to bake to croissant and it's cheesecake 3.99 wow let's take a look so it has pumpkin spice filling cream cheese Ooh it's not too bad it's not too bad this is actually not too bad i actually am very curious about this i love pumpkin cheesecakes and i love croissant let's do this one it's almost gone guys it's almost gone Look, this is how popular it is. Oh, pumpkin sticky toffee cakes. Interesting, what are the price? $3.99. Take a look at the ingredient list. Cassava flour, which is good. Lemon oil, wow, sugared lemon. It's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. Other than the sugary content, it's actually not too bad. I bet it tastes good. Comment on below if you tried it before. And what's the price again? $3.99, new item. Fall favorites. And I think this is a new thing, Trader Joe's salted maple ice cream. It's salted maple ice cream. Ooh. The ingredient list actually not bad. It does contain a lot of sugar, but it's an ice cream item. What do you expect? I'm going to avoid it right now just because I'm really worried about diabetes and stuff. My fasting glucose was very high last time, but <laughs> ingredient list not too bad. So if you don't have to watch your sugar, it's not bad. It has real maple syrup in there. It doesn't have too much like additives or anything. Pumpkin waffles, $2.49. Maple sea salt kettle corn is back. So this one is a little bit on the sweeter side because it's kettle corn and maple flavored. Take a look. It does have sunflower oil and it has coconut oil. The high oleic sunflower oil is better than normal sunflower oil because it has more monounsaturated fat and maple sugar and coconut oil is good. It's like so good. It's like if you're watching a movie in fall, get this one. It's just like sweet and salty at the same time 269 it's so good it's like my one of my favorite flavor for kettle corn trader joe's ube ice cream i'm like super super obsessed 
with any Trader Joe's Uve products. They taste, taste so good. Love this creamy cauliflower mash, the $3.99. Tastes super good, very good ingredients, clean ingredients, $3.99. And highly recommend this chicken meatballs. This one is super good and it's well seasoned and very clean ingredients as well. Very healthy. Highly recommend this chicken meatballs. I think they put the item in the wrong spot, not by the price tag, but I think it's probably like four to five dollars. The gyro slices, four sixty nine. This one is healthier than the Sam's Club one because they do have a little bit of the oil, sunflower oil that I don't like, but it's like super low. This one is way healthier. Get this one. Love the Trader Joe's chicken sumai, pork sumai. Love the chicken soup dumplings, pork soup dumplings. Those are so good. Recommend. This one is a godsend. Trader Ming's Cha Siu Bao, Chinese style pork buns, $4.49. Taste is so good. Love this one. It's like super authentic. Super, super authentic. I was looking for harissa sauce and Brandon was like, uh, <laughs> we're not in a cultured store. Guess what? There you go, traditional Tunisian harissa sauce. <gasps> love this. It's like hot chili pepper. I love this. If I have any cravings, it's this one with cucumbers. And I'm trying to make some cobble bowls myself so you can get the Italian hot pepper sauce or the $2.99. Harissa sauce, I found it. But they also have the Korean gongjujang paste. It's very Korean chili sauce and they also have this chili onion crunch it's very very good those one actually taste pretty good these are like sandwich slams that you can actually make sandwiches using those cauliflower slams it's kind of like a bread substitute and it's a 3 dollars i've tried this before it tastes pretty good i got it from costa last time Hey, they have the egg bites here too, $2.99 for two. $2.99, let's take a look. Those usually taste really, really good. Hey, seems pretty okay. We're gonna get one of those. Or do you want to? Yeah, it's cheaper at Costco, but maybe it'll taste a little bit different. Let's try this one, $2.99. Highly recommend this egg wraps, like super healthy and very, very keto friendly. Very nutritious, tastes good. There's some ready set veggie. Fry this is basically a stir fry kit, a blend of broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale. Pretty good, and it's only two nine. Also, highly recommend this fully cooked pork belly. Tastes amazing. But cook them as a chunk, like a lump. <laughs> Do not slice them, or else you get extra crispy. If you want it to be tender, cut it as a whole, whole log. Yeah, let's get one of those. I really, really like this barbecue black pepper chopped salad. It tastes so good. I love that black pepper and barbecue sauce. It's so good. It does contain palm oil, which is not the best. That's the only thing that I have a problem with, palm oil and soybean oil. So I guess the sauce is not the best, but the salad is good. <laughs> we'll let it pass for this one. Just really, really good flavor, $3.49. And this is also our favorite, the lemon arugula basil salad kit is $3.99. This one has the best dressing. It's the Parmesan cheese with basil, lemon, vinegar, rennet. It's just so good. And of course, it has sunflower oil, but it also has olive oil, which is really, really good. One of my favorite, a baby cauliflower, $2.99. We'll get one of those. One dollar difference, not organic four ninety nine, organic five ninety nine. Guess we get the organic one. We're gonna get some Persian cucumbers for healthy bowls that we make at home. This one is five forty nine per pound. It's a new flavor. <laughs> Spatchcock to sweet and savor chicken. I apologize. Butter filled whole chicken, five forty nine. Let's take a look at the ingredient list. Yeah. Seems pretty okay, I would say. Maple syrup, nice, nice. Paprika, turmeric, it's not too bad. It's pretty sweet, seven grams of added sugar. This one, I think it will I think it will actually taste good, sweet and savory. Also, big shout out for this bulgogi, $11.99. This is a Trader Joe's bulgogi, Korean inspired sesame marinated boneless beef. Tasted super, super good. And you can grill them, they tasted amazing. I really like the sauce, and I will say the sauce is pretty authentic very authentic it has sesame oil pretty good ingredients highly recommend we also have a dedicated review video of this 
the shawarma chicken, $6.49. This one tastes super, super good. We've actually tried it in my previous um, haul videos and it's tasting really, really, really good. $7.49 per pound. It's like so good. So this one is $10. It's, it has amazing flavor and really easy to make as well. Trader Joe's has the organic free range chicken. How many dollars per pound? $7 per pound. Pretty good. Organic and free range. This is Miss Ming approved. Trader Joe's has a soy chorizo. $2.49. Should we want it? Do we want to try it? No, I don't need chorizo. It has like soybean oil, oh, which is not the best. Oh. It's a soy product. It looks like chorizo, but it's like made of soybeans. Brendan said no. I don't need chorizo. <laughs> Brendan's like, no, we're not eating those uh, beefless beef anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, this Trader Joe's has a waffle cup fries, $3.49. It's so good. It has like best seasoned fries. It does have sunflower oil and canola oil, but fries is my favorite food in the world. And this one is so well seasoned. And we're gonna air fry these so it's healthier, so we don't have to fry them. But love this one. And it's $3.49. Like it's the best waffle fries I've ever had, other than Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna get this freeze dry just chicken trees for pets. So what I love about this is a lot of cat treats like this. For example, this one is cat treats with turkey. It's way cheaper, it's only $2. Let me tell you why. Because it's potato flour, potato starch. It, it's mainly like not meat. It's basically eating potatoes. Like I want my cat to eat meat, right? Cat is supposed to eat meat. So this one is freeze dried, just chicken. It's just chicken. So like my cat doesn't get diabetes, right? So um, this one is a little bit healthier for the pets, for dogs and cats. It's a little bit expensive. It's way more expensive, but it's worth it. My cat is worth it. Oh my God, they have pumpkin body butter, $4.99. This is a huge one. It's pretty good price. Actually, Trader Joe's has really good skincare products. Like their products are really good and it's really affordable as well. So, highly recommend this multi-purpose cleaner and love this scent. Cedar wood and sage, only $2.99. Love this. It has like so many creams. Hyaluronic acid moisture boost serum. This one is $8.99. It's basically hyaluronic acid. Um, if you're pregnant or trying to conceive, don't use this one. But I've tried this before, the retinol, $9.99. Really good for anti-aging. It actually is really, really, really good. Love those. And then their eye cream, Supreme Hydrating Eye Cream, is only $5.99. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you.